Welcome to another My Two Good Hands video working on the RV. RV has a place for two house batteries, meaning we can install two. We can put them in the parallel because so we'll go negative to negative to the house and positive to positive to the house. What that's going to do is it's going to give us 12 volts. If you accidentally put them in series, in other words, positive to negative, negative to positive, and then to the house, if you did it that way, where you make it in a circle, then you'd have 24 volts or you'd hook it up backwards and you have a real problem. So you got a 12 volt system, got to be 12 volts. So you got to have a battery here, negative, positive. This one goes to this negative. This one goes to this positive. And then they go to the house, to the coach. But what we're going to do is we're going to put some gear in there that allows us to isolate each battery so we can just run on one when we're boondocking so we still can start the generator with the other battery if we run down too low. So here, check it out. Sit back and watch. We're going to get her done. Okay, our batteries are under the step. And that's the battery we have right now. I've already taken the strap loose. And that one's going to slide up that way. You can see we got the positive over here. We got the negative over here. So let's uh, get a wrench. We'll get this unhooked. We'll show you what we're going to do. And we're going to have to get a strap to hold our step up because it always falls. Okay, so you can see how we strapped that up with a bungee cord so it won't fall on us. Tools we're going to need. We need one wrench. Basically, uh, the half inch side for over here and the uh, 9 16 for over here. Um, this is our other battery we're going to add. It's got one of those green sensors to tell you if it's charged. Got a hold down for it. Got two of these. One's already on the battery. The way these work is you loosen this knob and it disengages. You can feel it get real loose. That disengages this side so this battery is isolated. You always want to drive with them in the tighten down mode. Otherwise, they'll vibrate apart. We also got two two foot long lines. One's red, one's black, obviously positive and negative. So let's get her going. The first thing we're going to do before we start is let's go unplug the RV from the wall so the battery charger is not charging this. Okay, our battery charger is off. Turn the coach off. Okay, so now we're going to unhook the negative here. Once we unhook the negative, the battery's kind of isolated. We're just going to let the negative hang out here. Uh, then we're going to unhook this positive. And again, now I don't have to worry about shorting anything out. Once those are off, we'll pull this up. And we just that can just kind of hang there. Now what we're going to do on here is we're going to put the positive line that we bought on here. That goes here. We're just going to put it like this. Put this nut back on. Tighten that down. So at this point, we got that on there. Next step is to mount this on here. Now you've got to watch how this comes down. Uh, our other battery, when we tightened it, it didn't uh, hit. This one hits, so we're going to have to go find ourselves a spacer washer to put in there to hold this up so that it doesn't uh, rub the battery. Okay, we put one washer, seemed to be enough, because now that's not, it's up, it's not on the battery. So now we're going to put this nut back on. It doesn't have a whole lot of threads, but it's got enough. And we're going to tighten that up. Okay, that's tight. Now this battery can start sliding down. And we're going to take the... Uh, 
that buzzing is my tire sensor monitor that we're going to have a video on next. This we can put uh, back on later. So now what we're going to do is tuck this under part way, almost where we can't get at it. Now we're going to hook up this on here, because that's the ground that's going to go the other battery. And it's important that you don't let these two touch each other because they will spark because one's a ground and one's not. We're going to take this one. We're going to tuck it way back here for now. So it's away from the other one. Obviously, if you had a socket wrench, you know, this is easier to do, but we're not going to go get one. You can see that when we tighten this, it's going to be, we to tighten that up good. It's going to be hard to reach, but it's going to be under there. At least we think we're doing it this way. We may have to change our mind. Okay, so that's good and tight. We're going to slide this down like this. You can see we can still get our fingers in there to turn that. Uh, we're going to move these out. All right, so we're recording again. Now we're going to drop the other battery in. Just like this. Oh, it's going to be hard to get in there. Yeah, we'll get it in. There. Okay. So, we want to do is we want to get our strap through here before we go too far. Strap is pretty long. Uh, we're going to put the uh, clip up here and we're going to run this down through here underneath underneath and it comes back through here so there you go let's kind of lay that through you see how the strap is in there uh, so we'll be able to tighten the battery down now let's get the battery in. You know, getting that one caught there. Oh, okay. So our better battery's in. We can pull it all the way down this way so that we can strap it. We'll come through here with a strap and we'll strap this thing up. For the positive, which is this one here, we're going to uh, take this loose. There's a washer on this one, see? Let's wash her off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the positive on here. We're going to put our new positive. Uh, we're going to bring it around this way. Here, I'm going to turn that over. Just like that. And then uh, put this washer on. And we'll tighten this one up. Okay, good and tight there. Oh, what we can do is pull this battery back a little. So now you can see we can get at this knob and at this knob. Now we've got to take this out. And we've got to put our grounds on. 
So we've got this one, which we can loop around in a circle here. So I figure out how we're going to make that work. It's a little long. <laughs> and then we'll put the other one. So let's see, this one can be... Like that. And like this. So there you go. Now we got these, we can loosen these through there. So at this point, you've got the negative here to the negative here. You can see the line go there. And then the negative to the house battery. You've got the positive that goes down there to the positive and the positive here. You should be able to turn your coach back on. You can see the coach is back on. We are golden good to go. Now, if you want to unhook one battery like this one, I just bring this up until it unhooks <laughs> like that. And now I'm running off of this battery. Bring this back down and tighten it up. And now I'm running on both and charging both when I go plug this thing back in. So very important that both of these be on here so you can isolate that battery or this battery. Or if you loosen both of those, they're both unhooked. So we're going to get the strap back on this battery, which means laying underneath, and uh, we'll bring you back. So there you go. We got it all done. Got everything strapped up. The loose strap's tied there. This other strap is just kind of tucked through here so it won't blow around. We can let our uh, lid down and uh, go ahead and clamp our, clamp our thing down. We're closed. Let's uh, put the wrench away and put the uh, bolts and the spares here. So here you can see we're back plugged in and the charger's starting to run and it is charging both batteries. Just like if I run the generator, we'll charge both batteries. So don't forget, subscribe to My Two Good Hands. All the Amazon links below will help support the channel. Buy your battery local. They're expensive to ship. If you got somebody with an old battery, use the core to turn it in. Uh, in my case, I didn't have a battery. I don't want to turn in, so I lost the 10 bucks on the core deposit. But don't forget to like and subscribe using the links below. It gives me a small commission and uh, helps support the channel. Catch you in the next video. Next up. Tire sensors for pressure.